Hey, I'm glad that you're here. Let's go make some food. Welcome back. Let's get this Christmas spirit started. We start off with the Rudolph cookies. We'll need the following ingredients. Nutella, pretzels, Bepaw cookies, Ibo candies, M&Ms with some biscuits. Cover the biscuit with Nutella. Then place the Bepaw cookies on them. Then two pretzels on each as the handlers. Put the eyeball candies where it's supposed to be. And pick out the red M&M's for the nose. There you go, quick and easy. To the second idea, we got the marshmallow cups. Hook two holes on the side of a marshmallow. Break up the pretzels and attach it to the two holes that we made to resemble the cup. Use a cookie as a base. Spread some Nutella and place it on top of the cookie base. Drizzle some more Nutella on top and finish it off with some candy sprinkle. Repeat the process and this is what you got. Next on the list, we got Santa Berries. It's basically strawberries in the shape of Santa. To begin, we cut off both sides of the strawberries. Remove the stems, but save the tips. Then, we proceed to put the whipped cream on top of them. Put the little tip back on as the hat. Get them eye candies to their place. Finish it off with some powdered sugar because you know, Santa, snow. Okay, moving on. Now we have the mashed potato Christmas tree. We got red pepper, broccoli, and potato. Boil up the potato. and the broccoli. Finely chop the pepper and the broccoli after it's boiled. Potato out. Mash, mash, mash. Add butter, salt, pepper, mayo, and mix them well. Grab a handful of potato and mold it into the Christmas tree shape. Roll it over the broccoli, followed by the red pepper. Carefully place it on a salted cracker base. There you have it. Last but not least, we got the pizza wreath. But instead of pizza dough, we're gonna use tortilla to make it easier. Spread cream sauce evenly around the surface, except for the middle area. Go generous with the cheese. Add olives. Bell peppers. salami put in the oven for around 7 to 8 minutes at 400 degree after that put arugula around creating a circle some baby tomatoes and parmesan cheese on top for a beautiful finish Now let's put them all together, call some friends, and enjoy!